magnets making a magnet you get magnets in nature but you can use a magnet to make a magnet too it's easy to make a steel needle into a magnet stroke the needle several times with one end of a bar magnet make sure you always stroke in the same direction always use the same end of the bar magnet how did it become a magnet actually there were magnets inside the metal even before you stroked it with the magnet there are mini magnets in a substance only they all point in different directions when the bar is magnetized all mini magnets line up in one direction and make a single magnet when the magnet is taken away the mini magnets go back to random positions so you can magnetize a needle by continuously rubbing it in one direction with a magnet make sure you are always touching the same pole after doing for about 50 times the needle will start behaving like a magnet too what happens if a magnet is cut in half think it makes two new magnets each magnet has a north pole and a south pole what happens if a magnet is cut in half again if each is cut into half again it will make four magnets even the tiniest magnet will have a north pole and a south pole you cannot separate the poles of a magnet why does this happen because the mini magnets are lined up in each piece each half becomes a magnet what did we just learn a magnet has mini magnets inside it when they are all lined up we get a working magnet by rubbing a magnet continuously on the iron in one direction we can make new magnets we cannot separate the poles of a magnet